you know. I don't need toast and butter, bud. What's up, man? Family man. So, this is it, huh? Yep. Yeah. Now we get inside. <laughs> I sure it isn't too much work. No, no, no. See, that's the beauty of it. I never thought it needed to be remodeled in the first place. I mean, yeah, clean it up for sure. A couple of quick fixes and rebrand. I'm telling you, Sammy, this place could be a gold mine. Right? Aim at the university crowd, okay? Student pricing, decent food. I mean, I'm telling you, man, nobody's coming for blood sausage. <laughs> right? Yeah. Well, yeah, man. I mean, it's what we've always talked about, right? Yeah. Well, let's see what Kate thinks. All right? It's her money, too. Yeah. She should be here any minute. Speak of the devil. She here? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. Hey, Katie. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Wow. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Good to see you. What do you think, Kate? Looks pretty rough. But I like it. OK, she likes it. It's pretty much her whole nest egg. I know. I'm leveraged up to my eyeballs. I'm in this all the way, too. It's a slam dunk, OK? I'll deal with the realtor. You go talk to the bank. See if we can't get this ball rolling, huh? What do you say, kids? Joseph's moved today. Yeah, no, I saw the moving truck earlier. It's weird, it happened fast. It's an odd time to move, too, right before school starts. Mm -hmm. yeah, I hope everything's OK. I'm sure it's fine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so sweet of you, though. Always making sure everybody is happy and safe. Mm -hmm. Like me. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you don't make it easy. Yeah. you with that. Thanks. I'm Sam Luck, your friendly neighborhood neighbor. Taryn Hathaway, your new neighbor. Come 
on in. Got everyone here. Yeah. You can uh, you can just put it down over there. Yeah. Thanks. It's a beautiful old house you got. Yeah, it is. We uh we wanted a fresh start. It just seemed like the right place. You and uh my father. Oh. <laughs> and what do you do, Mr. Luck, when you're not being the friendly neighborhood neighbor? I'm a uh, English teacher uh, at the high school. <laughs> that must be rewarding. Yeah, it is. It's very rewarding. <clears throat> and uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm actually a student. Oh, at the university? Sam? Ah, uh, we're in here. What? Sure is. Hey, hey, good morning. This is Kate. Nice to meet you. I'm Taryn. Uh, welcome to the neighborhood. Thank you. Taryn is going to the university. Great. Mm -hmm. Moving in alone or? No, my uh, my dad actually just left for work. <gasps> I'm unpacking today. And tomorrow and the next day. <laughs> well, we should let you get to it then. Yeah, here, I I'll grab that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you bet. Let us know if you need anything else, okay? I will. Bye. Bye. Nice meeting you. Good morning, everyone. This is AP Literature and Composition 201. If that is not written in your schedule, then you are in the wrong class and late for your actual class. My name is Mr. Luck, and I had a few of you in uh, 101 last year. So you guys know my expectations. Last year, we worked from this cumbersome textbook. This, uh, come on in and find a seat. So, um, well, we worked from this 324-page behemoth that you needed to lug around in your backpacks every day. The uh, school district heard our pleas and granted us these tablets, which will sync assignments from my laptop. Come on up and sign one out for classroom use only. Hey, Taryn. Why didn't you tell me? I did tell you. I said I was a student. Uh, right, but I thought you meant college, <laughs> not high school. I certainly didn't expect to see you in my class. What difference does it make? Well, I... What, you wouldn't have flirted with me? I didn't flirt with you, Taryn. Yeah, you did. It's okay, Sam. I liked it. <laughs> so, you're a fan of sausage? Oh, no. That's for my diner. You have a diner that serves blood sausage? That's gross. My... Best friend Decker and I, we've always talked about owning a diner. Found this place on Millbank and, uh, <clears throat> well, it doesn't matter. I should go. <laughs> you taking the bus? Just today. My car should be here tonight. My dad had it shipped. He had it shipped? He likes to spoil me. He's away on business most of the time, so he gives me what I want. I like getting what I want. I'll see you tomorrow, Mr. Luck. Hey. Hey, good morning. 
Just, you know that girl that moved in across the street? Yeah. It turns out she goes to the high school. What? Yeah. And she's in my fourth hour. And I guess she lives in that house all by herself most of the time because her dad's always away on business. It's got to be hard for a kid her age, don't you think? Yeah. I guess I just feel a little sorry for her, that's all. Well, why don't we have her over? For dinner or something? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I came out this morning to get ready to, you know, drive to work and car wasn't here. What's going on? Uh, my car was stolen. What? That sucks. You, uh, you didn't hear anything. No. Here's a copy of our report. The insurance company's gonna want to see this. I'm Officer Gardner. There's a number there at the top you can call. If you have any questions? That's it. If we uh, find anything, we'll let you know. Thanks. Well. This is unbelievable. So where's Kate? She already left. She leaves for work about 6 a.m. every day. What are you going to do about a car? I have no idea. Well, you could use my father's when he gets here. I'll, I'll have to check with him, make sure it's OK. Oh, I couldn't ask that. It's. You didn't, I offered. Well, that's very nice of you. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. This might sound funny, but do you want to ride to school? I think a little fresh air will do you some good. I don't know, Sam. You promised me a nice dinner. Come on. What could be better than a home-cooked spaghetti meal, huh? What do you think? Burnt garlic bread? No, 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 no! Oh! I think they're ready. Sorry I'm late. Oh, God. Oh, hey, honey. I thought I'd start dinner. <laughs> How do you feel about Chinese, Taryn? Who's hungry? Are you sure I can't do anything? You're the guest. You stay put. So, how was your day, handsome? Ah, oh, bad. I want you so.
Taryn? Taryn, you, uh, you need anything else? No, thanks. I'm, I'm good. Are you sure I can't help? We got the dishes. You sit down and relax. I should actually get going. I have to call the plumber in the morning, so. Wow, what's wrong? It's no big deal. There's a leak under the kitchen sink. I just want to get it fixed before it gets any worse. Oh, I'm sure I could fix that for you. You fix something? Hey, I can fix it. It'll be no problem. It's the least I can do. You don't want to call a plumber. Not on the weekend. They'll overcharge you. Okay. One condition. What's that? No more dinners. <laughs> sure. Thanks again. Anytime. Oh. Oh my god, I'm so clumsy. I'm I'm so sorry. Oh. Don't worry about it. Uh, I'm so sorry. <sighs> sorry. <laughs> Not to worry. See you later. Thanks again. Hey, uh, I'll be over about 10. That okay? Yeah, whenever. Night. Bye. <sighs> that was nice of you. To offer to help her? Ah, she seems like a good kid, huh? Hey, you're not mad, are you? No. I just don't know how much she should be relying on you to help her. Actually, I'm the one that's relying on her. I mean, I'm borrowing her father's car, at least until we can get the insurance money for our old one. What else would I be doing? Renting one? Imagine how much that would cost. I don't know. Maybe we shouldn't. Just wondering if it's OK, that's all, to borrow her father's car. I mean, does he even know? Ah, oh, come on. I need a car. She's got a spare. You're overthinking it. <sighs> You're right. What else would we be doing? Father's okay with me borrowing his car. Yeah, I talked to him this morning. It's no big deal. I told him it's the neighborly thing to do. Thank you very much. I'll uh, make other arrangements as soon as I can. Yeah, okay. Uh, try it now. Okay, stop. Uh, I think we almost got it. So where's Kate? Uh, she's working. On a Sunday? She's trying to make a big impression. They've got a big case coming up, and she's responsible for all the research. There's a guy helping her, but I guess he's not doing much. Hmm. And you don't mind her working on the weekends and late nights? You don't think something might happen? Like an office affair? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> Kate, I really need your help on this project. I just can't do it without you. We'll get a bottle of wine, some dinner. It's my treat. You might have to work all night long, though. Then, when they've had a few drinks, maybe Kate's hair falls gently down her face, cascading over her cheek. You know how that happens. And the guy, he'll, he'll reach up to put her hair back behind her ear. But he won't take his hand away. Because the light shining in her eyes and making them sparkle. He just can't help himself. Kate, in my whole entire life, I've never seen anyone more beautiful than you. The way the light hits your eyes, I... I think I might explode if I don't touch you. You got a wild imagination, you know that? Come on, you honestly never thought about it? Not even once? Yeah. No. It's admirable of you. How's that? I don't know. If I were you, I wouldn't want Kate to work so much. And if I were Kate, I wouldn't want you to be alone so much. 
What's the sense in being in a committed relationship if you're spending 98% of the time without the other person? <laughs> but what do I know? Well? Uh, well, I, uh, I think I've almost got it here. Try it now. Nothing. Nothing? No. Oh. Here we go. Try it now. Mm, no. Oh. Ah. 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 Stop it! 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 Yeah, that's going to hurt tomorrow. Uh, it hurts right now. <laughs> I'll uh, fix this. Yeah. I should change. Honey, we're back here in the kitchen. Hey. We just had a little plumbing malfunction here, so... Yeah, I can see that. What are you doing here? Oh, I just had a break. I thought I'd come by and say hi. Oh, good. <laughs> hi, Kate. Hi. Can Sam tell you what happened? You should have seen his face. <laughs> can I get you anything? Actually, no. Thanks, though. I was just checking in, seeing how it was going. I have to get back to work in a bit. Yeah, I'll come with you. I've done enough damage here for one day. <laughs> well, the place looks great. Thanks. <laughs> I had a feeling he wasn't the plumber he thought he was. <laughs> ah, looks like you're almost settled in. Yeah. Oh, beautiful picture. Are they your parents? Yeah. Oh. Mom's beautiful. Wow. I'm really sorry about the mess in there. I'll call you a plumber after all. That's okay. I should have called one in the first place. Let's go, Mr. Fix It. Thanks, Sam. So what's with the gorgeous chick across the street? Is that all you care about? No. With the beamer outside. Uh huh. Girls and cars. You ever talk about anything else? I told you my car was stolen, right? Yeah, that sucks, dude. Did they leave a hubcap behind, let you know they were serious? And he leads Columbo? No. <laughs> anyway, uh, Taryn. Taryn? All right. She. Look, she had a leaky sink. She doesn't have any help. I told her I'd fix it. You don't know about plumbing, Sam. No, enough. Give me a break. All right, never mind. Back to the diner. I just want to let you know I put my share into the account a few days ago. Good. I just, we really need to get going on this soon. You know, I hear somebody's been sniffing around. It's not even on the market yet. It, you didn't tell anybody, did you? No, of course not. Hey, don't worry. We just need to dot some I's, cross some T's. We'll be all set. I can't believe you offered to fix her leak, man. That's classic. Okay, everybody, take our seats. Take our seats, please. Sorry I'm late. Let's take out your tablets, sync up to my computer. Now, last week, we were, uh, we were discussing our modern society and the effect it's had on literature and... Uh, Everybody, quiet, please. Macy, uh, what's going on? I think there's, uh, I just think maybe you sent us the wrong file from your computer. Everybody log off, please.
Come in, please. What the hell happened this morning? I am so sorry. Distributing pornographic material to the students, intentional or not, is gross misconduct. I really think we have to reconsider this tablet idea of yours. No, no, no. No, it's... The tablets were working fine. Somebody must have hacked into my... I am not concerned with how it might have happened. I am concerned that it never happen again. Yeah. This has to go in your file, you understand? Yeah, I understand. And you were late today. No, I know. I know. It's not gonna happen again. See that it doesn't. Hi. Hey. Hey, Maddie. I'm happy to see you, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi. Maddie, go on. Hey there. Hi. You've had quite the day. You, uh, heard what happened, though? Not just me. Pretty sure the entire student body's heard. Neighboring school districts, bordering states. I wouldn't worry about it too much. From what I've heard, you're a pretty good teacher. No one will even remember it by tomorrow. Mm, maybe next week. Listen, what are you doing right now? Nothing. Why? Sometimes it's harder to be alone, you know? You had said that Kate works late, and I thought maybe you'd... <laughs> Forget it. I'll see you in class. Hey, Taryn. What are you thinking? I cannot believe I subjected myself to this humiliation. You're not that bad. Hey, you almost doubled my score. Like our age. I think I have something that'll cheer you up. Or at least make it a bit better. To thank you for being so kind, so neighborly. Uh, you didn't have to give me anything. Maybe I didn't. Oh, my God. You don't have to make it a big deal. It's just a watch. If you don't like it, I can take it back. No. <laughs> Taryn, it's, it's beautiful, but... Well, I... I can't accept it. Why? Why? <laughs> well, because it's... It's too much. <laughs> You call yourself a creative writing teacher. It's the best you could come up with. Please, it'll be an insult if you don't accept it. We should go. You should see your face right now. The how am I gonna tell my wife look? <laughs> thank you for tonight, Sam. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy the watch. Hey. 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 
Where were you? Well, I got done a little later than I thought, so. You could have called. I'm sorry the day got away from me. Decker left a message. Hey, Sammy, have you called the bank about the problem with the diner account? What they say, those stupid dip. Call you later. Say hi to Kate. Bye. Hello. Hi. It's Taryn. I am um, I just wanted to say thank you. You know, for tonight. Yeah. It was fun. Sorry we had to leave so quick. Don't worry about it. I get it. Oh, because you know, it's not like we were doing anything wrong, but it might not look good, that's all. I just wanted to call and say thank you. I should go. Dylan's waiting for me to call him back. Quarterback Dylan? Maybe. Why? Maybe he has a like, boyfriend and girlfriend or something? I'll see you later. So they found your car, but then they impounded it. <laughs> That's gonna cost you some bucks, pal. Yeah. They think that I stole my own car, then hid it out in the middle of nowhere to collect on the insurance money. You believe that? It's such a scam, man. Hey, Sammy, look, there's something we gotta talk about. Yeah, shoot. You didn't happen to take any money out. Did you? Where, the diner account? Yeah. No, man, I didn't take anything out. Because there's money missing and I didn't take it out. Listen, so, Sammy, we've been friends a long time, right? Now, if you uh, were ever in trouble or you needed something, you said some money, I mean, you know, you can come to me, right? Whoa, I'm your boy. Dak, listen, I'm telling you, I didn't withdraw any money, okay? If there's a problem at the bank, I'll call him in the morning and get it straightened out. You're right. That's, that's probably it. That'd be good. Thanks. <laughs> Buy a new Rolex. The, you know that girl who moved in across the street? Taryn? Turns out, Taryn is in my class and uh i don't know she 
gave me this watch. She's got a crush on me or something. <laughs> <laughs> she bought you a Rolex. No, I mean, come on, it's, it's gotta be fake, right? I mean, who would give their teacher a genuine Rolex? Still got the Beamer, huh? She'd give you that too? Well, no, she loaned me the BMW, man. I told you my car's impounded, so. Right. So your student gave you a Rolex and a BMW. Loaned me the BMW. Next you'll be telling me her daddy bought the house across the street because she's in love with you. <sighs> just, just tell me you didn't take the money. Sammy, that's all I need to hear. Okay, you, you didn't take the money because this, this whole story, it's all too crazy. Dak, I didn't take the money. All right? Relax. I'm going to call the bank and we're going to get it squared away. Okay, I'm home. Kitty? Oh, hey, I'm starving. You want something to eat? Where have you been? I've been calling. Yeah, I... Sorry, I got kind of busy. Hey, you okay? Hey, what's wrong? Maddie's dead, Sam. What? What? What happened? He started acting weird, so I... I called the vet. But by the time I got off the phone, poor Maddie. Oh my God. Edie, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. See me? Yes, Sam, come in. Shut the door, please. Take a seat. You really don't look good. It's, it's been a rough couple of days, that's all. A serious issue has come up that has me quite upset, to be honest. How can I help? I really don't know how to approach this, so I'm just going to give it to you straight. You have been named in a sexual harassment allegation involving a female student. A what? A sexual... What are you talking about? There's been no sexual anything. I have never once suggested anything even remotely sexual with any student ever. <laughs> I'm teacher of the year, for Christ's sake. Sam, this is a very serious matter. Who is it? Who's, who's saying these things? It's Macy, isn't it? She's been acting strange for weeks. Maybe there's a mistake or something. Maybe the... If any of these charges are corroborated or found to have merit, you will be immediately dismissed. This serves as your only warning, Mr. Luck. What about my rights? Do I get to confront my accuser or... You'll get that chance when and if she decides to press charges. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. All right, now that was the official response. 
on a personal note. What the hell is going on here? I don't know.